You know, um, I'm going to be serious today. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Uh, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, there's um, a song that says, uh, uh, Learning to love yourself. It is the greatest love of all. I believe the children are future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. It'll make it easier. I, I, I almost cry every time I hear those lyrics because they are so true. And the catalyst to this video is because I like to watch them. Believe it or not, the guys that's my age. Um, like brothers, like from Gangster Chronicles, or um, you know, Vlad TV when they come on, because they are indicative of what ghetto life is, um, to a degree, and entertainment life, how they're in, in intertwined, and um, I've been a part of them both. <laughs> a lot of people say, "Well, yeah, right, yeah," and y'all know how the PK kids are; they they become the worst, so. Let me start right there. But anyway, I watched a, um, um, a, a few videos. And this one really touched my heart. And this is with um, my man. And I don't want no smoke. So I'm not saying this to belittle or try to disrespect anybody's family. You know, we talk about mental shit here, right? So what I am going to speak on is trauma. Trauma. And so one of my favorite brothers to listen to is Mob James. Um, because Mob James is an old guy. Um, and he's the epitome of um, him and Keefe D. Those guys are uh, the way of life at a certain time in the 80s and 90s, you know, where um, things was a lot different than they are right now. Um, I'm not trying to say they were better or anything like that, but there was a lot more money flowing around a lot with black people, whether it was through drugs or... Um, and there was also a shift where you really didn't know the entertainment business for real, for real, than the um, mob business. Kind of like back, like it was in the 20s. But what got me about this interview, and I'm not going to stay on it long, is it brought me to tears when Mob James talked about how his stepfather beat him and didn't have no love for him. And then I think about what Tupac had across his chest, thug life. And a lot of people didn't like that. They didn't understand that he said the hate Mm. The hate you give little infants fucks everybody. Almost like uh, that video, the hate that hate produced. Good night, Irene. Told you don't come up here. The hate that hate produced. Um, it was a movie, uh, a film that was done with the Nation of Islam. Um, and I guess Mike Wallace back in the day had a chance to show it, play it for them, for people. But my 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 um uh catalyst and focus is on the brothers right now. And I want to say to a lot of sisters made a lot of mistakes in um not showing y'all love, not allowing you to have 
healthy relationships with men that um, you were involved with, we were involved with, if we were involved with them. You, you didn't allow these men to rule over your children properly. And that's why I said to have a, uh, and this is like I said, there's no disrespect. To have a mother that is really, really dedicated to her children is a rare breed. And that's why I know with all her faults and ills, I had a rare breed for a mother. My mother never allowed no other man to be over us once her and my father were divorced. And that, I appreciate her and I thank her for that so much. Because once you allow another man to come over your children and he wasn't the father, he's not the father of these children. A lot of times it's like it is in the Lion Kingdom. He don't want that other cub around. He want his cubs. Uh, and with uh, Mob James's uh, stepfather, he said that his father, it was a question. And that's just as bad. So he went all this time looking at that baby and questioning if it was his or not and then mistreated him because of it. How many of y'all, how many of y'all have gone through that and um, have done it to somebody else because it was done to you? How many of y'all felt rejected by you know, the woman that you feel is God. She's really God into your life. Until you get to know him for yourself. And when she disappoints you and hurts you like that, then it's a hurt, brothers, that uh, I understand because ain't nothing like a mother's love. Nothing. So all of y'all, I want to apologize for all women who have put their sons in a situation where you've allowed other men to rule over your son, beat his ass, whip him down, verbally abuse them. And I forgive you because I know only in your sickness could you do something like that. But I want to say to you, you having somebody over your children is a real serious vetting process. You don't just allow anybody to come and be over your children. And if it is a situation where there's a doubt and a mystery, get it rectified as soon as possible. So you don't have to grow up feeling unloved. Because the hate you give little infants fucks everybody. And I think it was Devontae Swing that said, the kids is everybody, they, they missing love. That's what's wrong with you. You missing love. And if you ain't never had no love, I'm talking about a real mama's love. Not a mama that was running around and her first love was the crack pipe. Or her first love was another Negro. Or her first love was some more uh Pina Pinum or her first love was anything other than you because being a, a parent and especially a mother is the most selfless job you could never have and you have to be willing and a lot of women ain't to be just ready to make yourself your feelings your feelings almost, in my opinion, invalid to cater to the needs of your offspring.
You can't be selfish anymore. Your baby comes first. And ain't nothing that you got that you can have. That you can put over that. And so I want to apologize to all the wounded soldiers out there. The ones that sitting behind prison bars. The ones that come on and they live in that living that gangster lifestyle where they can just shoot somebody at the drop of a hat and don't have no remorse and they missing love. Because once you know what love felt like, you can't do nobody like that. You just can't. So I had to make that, and I'm also giving a shout out to, uh, you know, all the little young men that have been assassinated, pretty much. Or have fathers that have been in jail that are doing life, or fathers that are in jail that are doing 25 and 35 and 40, and they've never had time to spend time with them. Because there's a big hole in your soul. That ain't nothing going to be able to fill it up. Unless you really find love. So with that being said, um, I'm going to go. And if you like what you hear, dedicate it to the brothers out there today. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share. And uh, know we got to do better, y'all. We got to do better.